this video I want to show you the general idea behind graphs in R. You can produce many different types of graphs in R, like let's say histograms, scatter plots, you can do box plots, pie charts, and many many more. But some of the functions behind those different plots are the same. Alright, in this introduction introductory video I'm gonna produce a scatter plot to illustrate some of the most general or some of the most used functions to produce graphs in R. For the scatter plot we need an x-axis and a y-axis. So let's say x goes from 3 to 5 and y goes from 5 to 7 and we now wanna plot x and y in a scatter plot. For that we use the plot function and we just have to type in x comma y. So we would have x on the x-axis and y on the y-axis. We're gonna run those. Yes, and as you can see here this is now a basic scatter plot. But it appears quite naked and therefore we're gonna work on the plot to make it a bit more appealing and to also show you what you can do with those plots. So for example we want to now name our plot. For that we would just go into our plot function and we would type in main for main title. So it's main equals and then you can type in the name which you want to give to your graph. In this case let's call it my scatter plot. We're gonna run this one. As you can see here we now introduced the main title to the graph. The whole graph is now black and white so it's not it's not really a pleasure to look at it. So we could for example type the main title in red. Therefore we would use um, the call or color main function so it's cul dot main for color main equals let's say red. Or you could also choose many other colors. So it's cul.main equals red in quotation signs. I'm going to run this one. And now this one changed to red. To give you an idea about which colors you can choose from, you can type in colors and then brackets, empty brackets. It's colors, empty brackets. And now you get an idea of what colors there are available um, to choose from. Yeah, so it's it's more than than thousand uh, colors. And you have many, many. Yeah, there are about about hundred ways uh, to choose from gray. There are one hundred different types of the color gray. Yeah, so it's plenty plenty of opportunity to have your graph tailored to your specific needs and in your specific design. So let's manipulate our graph a bit more. For example we could work on the X and the Y labs. Therefore we would type in X lab equals quotations um, let's say my X lab. So as you can see the idea behind all those formatting functions is always the same. It's just another argument. All the arguments are separated with the commas and then you would you would have to know the name of this specific argument and then you use the equal sign and then you have the quotation marks and then you can specify this uh, specific thing. In this case it's xlab equals quotations and I just call it my xlab or whatever you want. And as you can see now the xlab has changed. We could for example completely uh, delete the name of this lab. Let's say in this case we want to delete the y lab. Right? So we would have to make a comma yeah? then it's y lab equals quotations and in this case I leave the quotations totally empty. So there is not a single space, there is nothing between those quotations. And that should actually delete this sign over here. And if I run this one, 
yeah, it's gone now. To get some idea of what kind of parameters you can choose from to change your plots, you can use the help function for par. So it's question mark par and then you see the set um, for the graphical parameters. And there are many, many things which you, which you can choose from. I really recommend that you get familiar with those parameters since they are useful to tailor your scatter plots to your specific needs. To see what the, what the preset for the parameters are, you can type in par brackets, so it's empty brackets, and if you run this one you see that what the computer uses as a preset for your specific graphs. This was Martin from amainustutorials.com. Please do not forget to subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it helpful. If you have any questions, you can contact me directly at my website amainustutorials.com or you could, for example, leave a comment. Furthermore, just take a look at the other videos I prepared for you on the topic of R programming.